almost good afternoon, 11.54 a.m. This is Tuesday, it's sunny, and guess what? In Florida, it's cold. <laughs> it's chilly out today. Beautiful blue, clear skies, not a cloud in them. Just got back from doing all kinds of errands this morning. Got all of our mailings mailed out to everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody who's ordered something and um i'm just i'm so excited i have some great news for you health journey news and gallery news so i was contacted by a gallery in new york they had found me on instagram i'm pretty sure under the hat the hashtag chateau orquaville from when i was painting all those moons in france something is going to happen with the gallery <laughs> I was hoping with the moons, but it's the gallery, that outlay for a gallery show is too far to be on this one. Um, I've been sending samples of my work, kind of like my portfolio pics to them, and I am going to work with them. I am going to have a show in New York City. It is not, hey Sheila, good morning. It's not almost good afternoon. It's not going to be about the moons. <laughs> We're talking about something in a whole different direction. And it'll be a show probably going to happen late fall. Late fall. Hopefully. Late fall or next spring. I like things sooner rather than later. So late fall I can work with. So hello Doc Spice and hello everybody who's watching this. If you're watching this live or you're watching a replay, I am feeling better than better. My health journey, <laughs> it's going great. Last night, I went to um, my nephew's house for dinner. We had mahi-mahi, we had rice, we had um, peas, we had, what else do we have? Something else on that plate. Oh, um, garlic bread and uh, fruit for dessert. It was lovely. Feeling great. I've been walking so much this morning and um, just feeling really good, but happy that I'm waiting. We're waiting till um, next week to leave to head for home. And great news, we're gonna get to, um, hey Pam, Morton's nephew's over right now from Scotland with his family. They're over in Orlando. <laughs> you are doing this right, Moon Hollow, comment away. <laughs> I'm, I feel so good. I've been walking, walking. I walked around Michael's this morning. Uh, we did the post office. We did some other errands. and uh, But Morton's going to get to see his nephew for the first time in a long time and meet his nephew's children. <laughs> his, I've met one of his nephew's children when I was in Scotland in 2019. So they've had a baby since then. So hopefully tomorrow night we're going to be having dinner with them or Thursday. And so that's another good reason that we stayed. And then another good reason we stayed, a, a sweet, sweet friend of mine is arriving on Saturday. He's gonna be staying with my sister for a week. So I'm gonna get to see him. So it's good. So yeah, M Morton's excited. Morton's out back right now. It's um, chilly and beautiful in Florida. <laughs> Both Morton and my daughter were saying, because the three of us went out this morning for errands, and they're both like, oh, it's so cold. And I'm like, this feels great. <laughs> I could live in, there's no humidity. The sky is just beautiful blue, like crystal blue, gorgeous. Um, today is Tuesday. I'm going to weigh myself on Thursday. I'm not weighing myself once a week. Um, so, oh. The good news with the gallery, bad news, good news is, bad news is they're not going to do the moons. Good news is I'm going to be painting for a show and I'm going to be able to show you what I'm painting. I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing big paintings and we talked about it and, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a gallery fit. I know. I love the girl that's there, the girl that I'm dealing with. She is a big fan of what I do. <laughs> It's funny because she's like, I was social media stalking you, <laughs> which sounded really funny. And she's like, this is going to be great. And they don't, 
they wanted to use the moons, but it's all happening too soon. It's too soon, Pam, for that. Um, it's going to happen once, once I got a deal, once I got a signed deal. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do anything <laughs> until it's tangible in paper in my hand. And I want it to be, like, I want the pricing to not be crazy. I want to do all my paintings that I do. I'm going to, I think I'm going to have 10 to 12 in the show. And all of them that I want to do, there, there's going to be a theme. And the theme is going to be, um, it's going, I don't know how to describe this. It's going to be new horizons for older people. Because I think a lot of times when we're older, we don't really have a new horizon to look at. We always think, oh, the good old days. And yeah, everything's already happened. I am a big believer that the best is yet to come. <laughs> I'm a big believer in that. So, um, yeah, we're working on, we're, we're working on that. And I showed her a lot of my work and, um, I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do painting and dimensional paintings for there, but then, um, 12 to 25 prints of each and they have a low pre they have a low minimum for a print. So their low minimum for print is pretty dang high. And I kind of feel like the moons, <laughs> this sounds weird, but I kind of feel like the moons, I want to put in people's hands that want them for not a gallery price. <laughs> because a gallery price is, um, a gallery price is, way crazier <laughs> like three four hundred dollars for a print some of the prints are even higher and which is totally cool i get it don't say like i shouldn't say what pam yeah you did the residency and you're 71 you can relate to this pam do you remember that photograph that you bought in france do you mind me asking how much you paid for that and Pam, you and I ought to do a show together too. I think I think East Coast West Coast show would be really fun. I want to. I would love to do a show with you. And um, yeah, Pam is Pam's lying about her age. She's not seventy one. <laughs> yeah, the my I, Paula. I have definitely determined my. I sell my originals for what. Pam paid 200 euro. Pam, are you kidding? Are you serious for that photograph? You paid 200 euros? Pam. <laughs> Is that a typo? <laughs> it was a photo and it wasn't even, that was not archival, that was not archival paper that he printed that on. He gave it to you for 50 off. So he sells those for 250? That was like an eight by 10 photograph, correct? What the, what the, what? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, you already had it framed, yeah. But remember that little bit of water that fe that came on the one? Bubbled up and arc like I just had some archival prints done and um, I don't think they would have photography I don't think they would have done that that for me 24 Your things yeah like I just had this was the specialty size that I had printed this it's an 8 by 8 moon look oh my gosh I love her <laughs> This moon, this moon, I just had printed, um, oh, from Kira, 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 50, okay. So I didn't see his, were his printed on different paper? 50 is still a lot for, that was basically like a photocopy. Bye, bye, Sheila has to run. You have a wonderful day. They were photo dupes. <laughs> 
that's that's just wild. So the eight by eight print, I'm not gonna do. I went around to Michael's looking because I wanted I want people to be able to find frames easy. And I also wanted to name that print, which I have named that print. And um, I'm gonna do that print. I'm gonna do that print. Um, uh, they were in the incredible gray tones, yeah. So you're, I haven't seen the picture that you bought from the guy for 200, I assume was that picture that was hanging in my, in my bathroom at the chateau. The little, the nymphs at the lake at the chateau, it was a beautiful picture. That's, yeah, that's a lot. Um. <laughs> Pam, I don't want to sell somebody something and then have them have to go out and get a cu custom framing is so expensive. I know this. I have a, I have a, a fr uh, print that I bought um, at the Van Gogh Gallery in um, Amsterdam. I bought this in 2006 and it's still not framed because, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, Pam, uh, Pam, your, your comment of the no nudes, <laughs> it got filtered. Isn't that funny? <clears throat> but, um, uh, the, um, um, yeah, I still didn't frame that print that I bought in Amsterdam in 2006. And that print, it's a, it's an odd shape, so I got to get it custom framed. And I took it in on my cheapest framing that I could get for it. I just got to get the stuff and do it myself. It's a pain in the neck if you're not all set up. And this was ages ago. My cheapest framing that I could have a frame for was $300. And I think I paid, I think I paid 70 euros for the print, but that was in 2006 at the, at the Van Gogh. Um, oh no, that wasn't from the, that was from a different gallery that we went to. It's, I'll have to show you that print when I get home. I do want to get it framed, but I want to make my prints that I'm doing like this, the 8x8 eight eight print. I'm going to just use this. Or, I think I might use this as a prize on Facebook. I'm going to use this as a prize on Facebook tomorrow to celebrate Spring Fairies. Or maybe I can't really do a prize on YouTube because YouTube, the shelf life of YouTube is so long. I don't want people entering the contest thinking that they're going to win. So tomorrow I'll give away that moon on Facebook as a, as a giveaway tomorrow. Uh, five o'clock on TikTok tomorrow being March 20th. We're having a party live and I'm going to give away my photo album that I made up from France. All of my photos, my 30, 36 of my favorites of my favorites from France. Um, I'm going to give that away tomorrow on TikTok. Uh, live, make sure you register for the live, but yeah, the, um, I want, to, I want to get the moon, I'm going to start with the blue moon, that's the whole face, and not my prints of the smaller, or the, not smaller moons, like the city moon, the little cities with the moons behind, or little villages, so, um, yeah, I just found that out last night. We're going to, I'm going to paint for a show, Pam. I've never painted for a show before like that. I've always taken my stuff and um, just, I've been in galleries before, but it's just always been this piece, this piece, this piece. So it's, I'm going to paint a show with, it's going to be three other female artists that are all older, but um, I would love, I would love to do a show. I would love to do a TikTok show with, um, artists that are social media show. That's what we ought to do. We ought to put our heads together about that, kids. <laughs> Comment on this video. I'm going to jump off because I'm going to start painting. I'm going to go live on Tiki Talk and start painting. Um, I have some other watercolors that I'm working on. So, um, yeah, leave your comments here. What do you think? Are you an artist? that would be interested in doing a social media art show. Something to think about. That would be fun. Um, let me know. 
Have a beautiful day. Enjoy the day. It's Tuesday, the 19th of March. Technically the first day of spring. It's 19th into 20th this year instead of March 21st, which I always think of as first day of spring. So enjoy your day. Do something beautiful for you. And um, thanks for being here. Talk to you soon. Bye.